<laughs> Hi friends, it's your old pal Papa Dale here once again with another episode of Christ vs. Culture. Now this episode is titled, oops I don't have the notes up, this episode is titled The Biblical Telephone Game. You remember that old telephone game we used to used to play around the campfire? Well, we're going to talk about that and see if it is applicable to understanding uh, where the Bible came from. This is um, the Bible playlist called Christ vs. Culture. And it's a playlist that's based on 1 John 2.15 the meaning and the implications of that verse. And what the verse actually says is, uh, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And what that means is, Jesus Christ is the creator, and everything else is the creation. And we are supposed to love the creator above the love that we have for the creation. So, this is an article that is one of several hundred that I've written and published. And um, I'm uploading it now to video for two reasons. One, as an informational uh, content for Christian folks uh, today. And two, to be a legacy of content for folks who will be left behind after the rapture. There will be millions of them. And they'll be scrambling for ways to understand what the Bible says. So that's the purpose. So who am I? Well, I'm Papa Dale. I am a retired pastor, teacher, theologian, evangelist, chaplain, businessman. <sighs> Done a lot of things in my 50 plus years of service to the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, this is just one more of those things that I believe that the Lord is leading me to do in his name and for his glory. So any of that barking in the background you're going to hear is, could be my dog, Bandit. <laughs> Pay no attention to him. Bandit, be quiet. I'm recording a video. <laughs> he doesn't care. If he sees a squirrel, he's going to bark. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it's important that you uh, know anybody who, a little bit about anybody who says they're going to teach you about the Bible. Because the Bible says in the end days, false teachers will arise. And of course, the number one way that you tell whether a teacher is false or true is you examine what they teach and compare it to the scripture. So, let's move on. Let's get right into the lesson for today. Biblical telephone game. Now, have you heard the charge made by unbelievers that the scripture is unreliable because it was passed through fallible people who essentially played the ancient version of the telephone game? Well, this is not true. Applying the telephone game claim to the transfer of Bible information is a common secular and humanist and false religion mischaracterization. Most attacks on Christianity come by mischaracterization or false assertion. In this case, this whole idea of biblical telephone game misrepresents the facts of history and they persist due to ignorance as to how the Bible was actually developed. The basis of the telephone game concept is this. A group of people whisper about an, whisper an idea. Usually it's often played around a campfire or in a, a party of young people. They whisper an idea from mouth to ear, individual by individual, one time only, passing it on to another person who repeats it one time only, and then passes that on to another, and so on. After many repetitions, the final message is very different from the original. The assertion is that the Bible was communicated in just this way, and so, by implication, it too is unreliable. The problem for the secularist is this. The scripture, 
was a written body of content right from the beginning. When Yahweh told Moses to write in Exodus 17.14 and in Exodus 34.27 and in Deuteronomy 31.24, the whole idea of writing down what God said and the events of the people of Israel has a long and storied tradition and is referred to multiple times right from the beginning of the recording of Scripture. In addition, oral transmission of biblical history is totally unlike the telephone game. Yes, there was a certain amount of oral transmission, but it's not like the telephone game. While secularists and skeptics are correct in saying that Scripture was sometimes transmitted orally, they completely misrepresent, misrepresent the manner by which that was done. Now here's the truth. The truth about oral, the oral transmission of Scripture is this. Ancient, devout, adult Christians taught their children biblical history every night in homeschool type situations every night. The children had to memorize the stories and commandments and repeat them word for word to their parents night after night, year after year. Then when they too became parents, they taught these same stories and narratives to their own children while the grandparents listened on. See, two generations of adults overseeing this process assured the accuracy of what was being memorized. They all lived in the same household in those days. And so on the Sabbath day, as the whole family, children, parents, and grandchildren, worshipped, the whole family quoted scripture as part of their worship. When Jewish children were old enough to go to school, in traditional Jewish educations, students by the age six would attend synagogue schools, and by around 10 years of age, they would have learned and memorized the first five books of the Bible called the Torah. This emphasis on the oral tradition and memorization continues in the most devout of Jewish communities to this day. The accuracy of content transmission was amazing. They were very detailed in this practice as they believed that this content was necessary for their salvation. So much so that scrolls have been found hundreds of years after being written. And when compared to the more modern oral content, they revealed nearly exact word-for-word -word transmission. So, the next time you hear an atheist or a skeptic or some super liberal quote-unquote Christian disparage the validity of Scripture based on the telephone game, that criticism you can graciously tell them they have the wrong number. <laughs> no telephone involved. No telephone game involved. They have the wrong number. So, those are my comments on the biblical telephone game. If you have comments, questions, or prayer requests, you can leave them in the comment section down below. In the description section down below, you're also going to be able to find uh, a link to this message and also a link to my Facebook page if you want to uh, opine at length yourself about this content, take it to my Facebook page. If you want to look at these lesson notes uh, more specifically, you can do that by clicking on the lesson notes, lesson notes link. So, this is your old pal Papa Dale signing off for now. 
and saying, if the Lord lets me upload another video, then you'll be able to see it right here. And until that time, I am going to be praying for you, that you will be well, and for you, that you will be blessed. And that's two thumbs up for you. <laughs>